lawmakers can file a motion to the Speaker's office against Ismail Abdul Muttalib. This is if they deem the past MPs' questions in the Dewan Rakyat seditious, according to Deputy Dewan Rakyat Speaker Alice Lau. This comes after DAP leader P. Ramazami said Ismail could be charged under the Sedition Act for his controversial written parliamentary questions. Lau told Malaysia Kini yesterday she said it's not for the parliament to decide whether Ismail can be charged under the Act or not, as it's not their power to decide. She added that so far she hasn't heard of MPs submitting motions on this matter. Article 63, bracket 2 of the Federal Constitution states that lawmakers will not be liable to proceedings in court for anything said or any vote given by them in proceedings of either House of Parliament or any committee thereof. However, Article 63, bracket 4 countermands these four offenses involving the Sedition Act and laws enacted under Article 10, bracket 4 that protect the national language, Bumiputra quotas, and the Malay rulers. On Wednesday, Malaysia Kini reported that Ismail had submitted a parliamentary question asking the government to justify its rationale for recognizing citizens born after independence, regardless of skin color. The Maran MP had also asked why Chinese new villages were still being maintained and whether communism still exists in those places.